I'm going to be preparing a hard drive for installing more than one Linux distro on. In fact, I plan to install Linux Mint and Pop OS. Pop OS is the new distro from System76 that makes uh, um, it makes uh, Linux pre-installed laptops and desktops. My system takes a little bit because there's more than because I have so many hard drives on it. This last one is the one we're going to be dealing with, SDD. You can do this on the system you're planning to install the Linux distros on. Just about every live US, USB stick distro, Mint, Pop, Ubuntu, the Arch, Debian, they, they all tend to come, they all come with G-parted uh, on the live USB. What's odd is that even though they come with G-parted, in a lot of cases they don't install G-parted in the installed system for some reason. You, you have to add it afterwards. I, I don't know why, Just that, that's just kind of an aside. Anyways, here we have the device. If this was the only device in your in your laptop or desktop and you boot it with a live USB, this would be slash DEV slash SDA. Instead of SDD. Um, so you pick pick the one that you plan to do. The first thing I like to do is start fresh. Rather than deleting and rebuilding, I just go ahead and I start and I create a new partition table and this wipes everything out and starts a new one. Okay. So, what we need to do here because of that is unmounted. That takes a little bit. I'm going to hit pause while we're waiting for it. Okay, now we can continue. Now we can create the partition table. MS-DOS is the one you want. If you were doing a UEFI system, then you would do GPT. But my directions are going to be for a BIOS uh, slash legacy system. Um, most older PCs can deal with that better. You don't need more than four partitions. Uh, GPT will let you I don't know how many partitions they let you have on a single drive, but but you don't need more than four for what we're doing. Apply that. Again, that okay. Now we have a blank slate to deal with. So. What we're going to do is we're going to build four partitions. We're going to make the first two 32 gigabits roughly. We're going to make the first two 32 gigabits, and then the last one is going to have the remaining minus an amount for the swap uh, partition. And what we'll 
do is we'll, we'll, we'll do them all. You know, I'm going to try and get them close to the same size. They don't have to be exact. And now, I'm going to do the swap file next and put it at the end. <coughs> now, the reason, I'm sorry, I used the wrong terminology, the swap partition. The swap file is what's used by the Windows systems and it's and it's on the operating system partition itself. Linux has traditionally used a swap partition and I'm not going to get into which is better, which is worse, um, whether you have to have one or don't have to have one. Um, there are those that say if you have tons of memory, you don't have to have one. But, you have to have one if you're ever going to do hibernate, hibernation. I want to make this about the amount of memory that the system I'm putting this in is going to have. So, 8 gigabytes. Uh, there are other rules of thumb. This is, I do one for one. Some people claim one, 1 1.5 to one. Some people claim 2 to one. Um, I believe in most modern systems, one to one, a tad over is fine if you're going to use hibernation. That one's going to be a Linux swap. Okay. And then this last one. It's going to take up the remainder. And I'm going to leave that. I'm going to give that a name. I could have given the others a name. It doesn't particularly matter. Um, but this is the one I'm going to use as the shared home, so I'll, I'll give this a name. I've used EXT4, as you've noticed. I left them all as primary partition. Okay. So now our our drive is is set. And all I have to do is apply the changes. Okay, this is going to take a while, so we're going to pause. And all operations were successfully completed. So I'm going to close this. It's going to reread all the drives. It's going to take a minute to reread all the drives. But this is how you'll set it up. So the first partition I'll have Linux number one in there, then Linux number two, and then the last partition will be the home partition. Okay? And close enough. 32 gigabytes is more than enough for, for the root slash main partition of a Linux OS. It, it'll only use probably 8 to 10 depending on which which one you use. So it certainly 32 is plenty. Um, 
if you're really strapped for space you could probably cut that down somewhat maybe to 16 each but I think this is a much safer number to play with it gives room lot the logs are written there so if you're having problems and the logs get large you'll you'll not want those to run out of space and there you got it all there is to it